What's up? So I have a BMW key fob here with the middle button. Um, looks like it's broken. So uh, the guy brought another switch, which I, I don't know where he got it from. Maybe DigiKey or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe eBay. Anyways, it seems like a fairly uh, simple switch here. I mean, let's see. Well, I don't know how it works, but I guess, well, the button pushes here, but I guess maybe this makes contact with one of the below. So maybe before I do anything, I'll just kind of diode mode, or uh, just check for continuity, basically, see which one's connected and which one's not. So that's connected, and those are all connected, and those are not connected, and those are also not connected. So these two on these side are the same as these two on this side. Um, so if I do this, Okay, so now let's maybe if I can push down on it and let's see what happens. Let's see. I'm not going to do this. Okay, so if I guess maybe if I push down like this and see what. Okay. So if I go like this and this, I don't think it's going to like show continuity. Yeah, there's no continuity, and then when I push on it, it's going to show continuity. Okay. So let's see. These are. No continuity. Anyways, I'm not gonna be able to push that unless I like finagle it somehow. Maybe like this. Anyways, this is gonna turn into some stupid if I just keep mucking around like this. But I do want to test it. That's not gonna work. Forget it. This is dumb. I'm just gonna replace it. Not a whole lot to it. I'm probably just gonna use my soldering iron. Hey Google, turn smoke on. So a little bit of flux here. Google has been struggling lately. Hey Google, turn smoke on. All right. So. Uh, I'm not going to use heat just because, I mean, uh, it should be fine, but this looks like it's simple enough. Definitely don't want to tear anything, but... You know, so you use the tip of your soldering iron to like, oh, damn it, did I just... I can do that. Dang it. Actually, I don't think that's connected to anything. Well, I guess that's probably not the best way to do it. Maybe the best way would have been to use heat. Anyway, it's not a big deal. No damage done, but it could have been damage done. So it looks like these two aren't even being used. These two right here aren't even being used. Just these two. So anyways, let me just... That's probably just an anchor point, but I'll just put some uh, solder mask on it to hold it tight, I think. I think that's probably what I'll do. Oh no, the pad is busted. Bastard. Anyways, let me just run a little jumper, just because I... This is a piss poor job that I just did. Piss poor, my friend. That is piss poor. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, let's just make sure that these have continuity now. Looks like it's just these two, so let's just make sure this is good. Okay, that's beeping. Oh, sorry, this one. And that is beeping. So maybe I should just run a little jumper there, too, just, just in case. Because 
it looked like it was like kind of dangling just a little bit. I just want to make sure that it doesn't come back to me. Yeah, running a jumper is simple enough, so. So I'm using like, uh, what is this? Point, uh, 0.2? Yeah, this is point zero two millimeter jumper wire. Um, I believe this is unshielded, unshielded jumper wire here. But you can pretty much use whatever you want. I don't think it's going to be a big deal here. Definitely want a little bit more shiny. There you go. All right, this is, that was unnecessary actually. I mean, it was because I I used force. You're not really supposed to use force to do this kind of stuff. Anyways, clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol. Click it a few times, it works. And then maybe what I'll do is I'm just going to use my multimeter here and then see if I can poke it somehow. It's because it's going to be just like this. So that's 1.33. Then if somehow I can like get my poke it somehow, which is where I was earlier. So when I push this button, it goes to zero, and when I don't push it, it doesn't doesn't do anything. So that's how I know that's how I know it works. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some green stuff because it's missing a pad, and then it's got some uh, it's got a jumper wire there. So this this is just UV curable solder mask, and I'm just gonna basically kind of cover this wire here. Somebody's calling, but they hung up. Then I'll put it on this side too. So basically, green UV solder mask is basically just like solder paste. Or I'm sorry, it's just like it's basically a, a, a liquid, and then you put like a UV light on it, and it like solidifies. So it basically hardens and holds it in place. So that's what I'm gonna do here. You don't. You don't. You shouldn't really have to do this. If you did, if you did this carefully, you shouldn't have to do this. So, anyways, so basically, just the little. This is UV light right here. And you stick it on there for whatever, a few seconds. If you have a powerful UV light, then you stick it on for a few seconds, and then you're golden. It just turns hard. So, so I'm gonna cure it. That's done, and then I'll kind of show you. But if I just poke on it a little bit, see it's hard now. It was a solid, and now it was a sorry liquid. And now it's a solid. All right, so click on this, and then we're good. Okay, so this should be done. So, anyways, this is BMW key fob uh, button repair. Thanks. Thanks for watching.